YouTube right now is turning into one of the most exciting platforms to find free full-length audiobooks but you have to know where to look and how to find them because it can be a little bit tricky and in this video I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do that. Let's get started. First off you have to understand that there are public domain books which can be freely shared online and those are the ones that are usually easiest to find as audiobook versions on YouTube. The other kind of audiobook are more recent books and those are naturally harder to find Find because they are not public domain. Don't you worry though, I will go into depth on how you can find those as well with a few little tricks. But first, let's have a look at the most important public domain audiobook channels that you should definitely know about. The first one is called Greatest Audiobooks and they're not lying with that channel name. They are really trying to cover all the classics, all the great novels from the past, so I love browsing their channel and see what I want to listen to next. Books like The Art of War, Pride and Prejudice, this, Moby Dick, Macbeth, all of those are books that I honestly believe everyone should have read at least once in their life. So this channel is your chance to do that. And I believe that those classics are maybe even better to listen to instead of reading them because they can be kind of hard to get through if you actually have to sit down with the book and read every single page. Instead, why not have somebody read it to you? So this channel, Greatest Audiobooks, in my opinion, is a must follow. And a second, very similar channel for which that also holds true is simply called Audiobooks. It also has been around for years now, it's publishing exclusively public domain books and as you can see, covering once again all the good classics. Why not listen to some Dostoevsky or Charles Dickens today? This channel has it all and since it's on YouTube, it is readily available pretty much anywhere you go. And by the way, if you want to have my videos readily available wherever you go, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future uploads. A third public domain channel that you need to follow is called LibriVox. LibriVox is a bigger project, they have their own platform and their own app with more than 60,000 books available on it. But awesomely enough, they also publish some of their best classics on YouTube as well. With them, you might want to scroll a little bit through their channel. Some of their books are definitely less interesting than others, but they do have real bangers in there as well. I personally would recommend that you check out their Jane Austen collection as well as Marcel Proust and Friedrich Nietzsche. But really, there's almost no limit to what you can find on their channel and maybe you feel a bit adventurous, you want to get off the beaten path and explore something that you've never heard of and then this channel is definitely the right place to start. A lot of people though are more interested in more recent books and that's very understandable and there are some ways to find those on YouTube as well. It can be a little bit tricky though sometimes and here is why. As you might have already guessed, uploading full version audiobooks of books that are not public domain is not strictly legal. So YouTube is actually working very hard to take down those videos and channels that are doing copyright infringement. At the same time though, there are a lot of new channels popping up left and right, uploading audiobooks on a daily basis because it is a very efficient way to grow your channel quickly. So to sum up, there's this ongoing battle between YouTube on the one hand and audiobook YouTubers on the other. And what that leads to is that you can usually find audiobooks on YouTube that might infringe copyright, but they might not be online for very long. And my personal take on that matter is that I would never encourage anyone to upload something onto YouTube that is copyrighted, but at the same time, if it's on YouTube, if it's available, I feel like it's free to use until YouTube decides to take it down. So with that said, what I recommend you doing is that you go onto YouTube and you simply search for the audiobook that you're looking for. Some of the good search terms to use is full version, full length, free audiobook, etc. So if I'm for example interested in James Clear's excellent book Atomic Habits and I want to listen to it on YouTube, I simply would type in Atomic Habits audiobook full version and then you can see what comes up here. Now naturally, this might not be working with every single book that you're interested in, but you will be surprised how many books you can find with full versions on YouTube. Some that I would recommend are Thinking Fast and Slow by Daniel Kahneman, Awaking the Giant Within by Tony Robbins, 
and also the 4-hour work week by Tim Ferriss. All of those are readily available for you on YouTube, but believe me, there are countless more. You just have to search a little bit. And if you're interested in getting more inspiration of books that you could search for, then definitely check out my recent video about the best self-help books of all times. Also, if you can't find the audiobook that you're interested in on YouTube, then there are other platforms that you can check out as well that also offer free audiobook access. And I made a video about that as well. Check it out right up here. I do hope though that with this video, you're gonna be able to find audiobooks easier because honestly, audiobooks is one of my favorite ways to learn and gain knowledge. It is so underrated, it is so underutilized, and I wish more people took advantage of this great opportunity. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.